So, on the last episode, we found a camp for, uh, the, the, uh, probably attacked by something that girls were staring at. Uh, anyway. Oh, there we go, yeah. But of course, uh, how do I reply again? Like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Um, clothes. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Wow, a nice picture with my wife. Sweatshirt I like. The jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those. I really can't just put things down, can I? Anyway. Oh, red. Um. Well, he does have a thick beard. Ever since I was young. Hmm. This has got to be the most entertaining thing y'all have ever seen. Alright, is there anything else? I keep thinking, do I need to bring those books that I found back here? I think about it, and I could, but... Yeah, sheesh. Oh great, he's got a no snap on snack thing. That's not what I wanted to do. What do I... Find boards downstairs to patch window. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's been a very long time, just in case you don't see the timestamp and or some, for some reason, watching this beyond the... I don't know if you're, re if you're watching this. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would subject themselves to that, but yeah. Sometimes, sometimes people actually will watch my video. <laughs> um, but other than masochists, I don't know who we're talking about here. Uh, he 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 he. Get a couple more boards, alright. I really wish I had like an inventory or something. I'm not talking uh, villager pocket, just about anything that's thrown at me or whatever. But, haha, ha, I really wish I could just put things in the bag that I seem to carry around with me. Because I think I carry around a bag with me. But, I, mm, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not the leading uh, informant on this Actually, let me check what time it is. Did all of y'all have a wonderful uh, Christmas or holidays? I mean, this is something I talked about last time, so I think now that I've stopped walking around and the... I'm just going to cut this out. Never mind. Uh, okay, here's another wooden board. Just going to take that in, too. 
let's go board up those windows or whichever window but here's the real conspiracy who the heck broke it is it the girls or is it uh the mm, the whatever the heck i like how i have to duck under well yeah, i guess never mind Isn't this kind of dangerous? Like, what if something ha- well, if something happens out that window, then you can easily, um, you could easily see it from one of the other windows, a door window or something. And now I have an extra board because I picked up four and I only needed three. I got that window all patched up. So yep. What should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Beat the heck out of someone. That is a good idea. I like that idea. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, dang, wait. That's actually a thing. Can I take this box off of my Firefinder? No? Okay. Well. I could spend this episode looking for the caches that have books and then bringing them back here. But I don't actually want to do that. I suppose I could. Mm, I could find the other caches so I'd have all the trails. That isn't a terrible idea, but I also could just work. I do like working. I took a good old 30 minute power walk and I circled this morning. <laughs> because I never do anything. Um, <laughs> and I looked down at my new watch that I got for Christmas. And it's like you set a record for exercising, a personal record for exercise. And I'm like, oh, thanks, watch. You don't need to remind me. I sit here all day. Um, how do I? Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am you didn't have to. You've really thought this through. Of course. of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really? really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a winter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay, can I take the seat now? Day nine! Amazing how easily I could have just done that in the last video. Well, that's the end of today's video, guys. Thanks for coming. And I'll make sure to slow it down just a little bit so I can get to ten minutes. Don't worry. No editing again, huh? Lucky me. <laughs> I'm thinking about superheroes a lot lately because, uh, I like stories and I'm a freaking sucker for superheroes. And I always think about it like. Just weird things that I've never, I don't think it has had a story before. And I keep coming to this idea for one. Like, there's a guy, and any living thing that he even notices ceases to exist. And it causes him deep emotional turmoil. Nothing he does can change it. Um, Not too bad. We get used to it and he absolutely nice. hates it. Look, um, so he just walks around in just this massive, desolate metropolis. Oh no. Sounds like the teens.
Oh no. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Yep. It, it's not gonna be an issue. I mean I mean if if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, it'd probably be um it is worth mentioning that there were teens here. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. Yeah. Why, Delilah? You got a bad past for us? Oh, I will. It's a nice sunset. So I guess this is day 10, then? Day 15. <laughs> um, time for a time skip. When I come back, am I going to be a master of hockey? Eh. Eh. Um, back to the guy. So he... The whole story ends up being... Well, I haven't come up with the story, I've just come up with the premise of this is what this guy is. Anything he even notices, he'll hear, like, scratching if he turns his head or anything, and it's just gone. There's nothing. He, um... Henry, wake up. I don't know. It's just that. Like, he'll walk through just desolate towns. Absolutely devastated and such. Answer Delilah. Okay. Oh jeez. Hey, you big dumb idiot. Look at your fire fire. You're the big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Oh great. I am. Where'd that photo go? I still have it. I do have it. That's big sad. Um, I'm fine. What do I mean some weird stuff happened? It's only like day 15. Jules? I should have face cam on. Anyway. <laughs> that is a good idea. Let's go back to sleep. Oh, it's Julia. Bye, baby. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Huh? Wait a heck, and what happened? Anyway. But he's, um, I hadn't even thought of a name. I'm terrible at names. I thought of, like, just general Grim Reaper type names. But the thing about that is it's more like, he'd probably have multiple names, because he doesn't want to think about... The devastation he causes through his existence, but yes, yes, it is. Thank you, Delilah. When you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, all oh, red prunes. <laughs> I, I still don't know if I should be paying attention to any of this. Oh, that'd be rad. <laughs> but also, um, Sacks, and I can't. I don't know where I'm freaking going. 
Uh, heck, it's been 15 days. Why not? It's hard because I fucked up. Yes, yes, you do. Uh, go on. Correct. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's Dang. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, Henry, listen. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I don't understand why people apologize in this situation. Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. Yep. I'll let you keep hiking. That is a good thing to let me do, seeing as I'm already hiking. I'm hoping I'm following the actual trail, so let's take out my handy dandy map. What in all heck did I do here? Time to go east! <sighs> I screwed up somehow. I somehow. That's. I have no idea what I'm looking for here, honestly. I'm going more south than east, and I don't know. What the heck? Oh, there's the rope. Okay. That helps. I I keep getting interrupted by the voices. I'm sorry, but and it, it's just an interesting concept to me. That uh, at some point I thought about it like um, he's some government human weapon. They trap him in a sensory deprivation tank and drop him into cities that they want to erase or something and just about anybody who might have gotten away has some different story about him but the whole thing's his story or something like that and he just basically hates his own existence or something like that I don't know how to say this without making it sound like he'd just want to kill himself, though. Like, he lives. He... Mm, might be better if he dies. Just in the general context of such a world in which a man's mere perception of someone causes them to cease to exist. But it... Um... Hmm. It might be... I guess then it becomes a question of whether or not they cease to exist or they cease to have ever existed because if they're like gone then they're then but like people remember them and that's sad but I think about it kinda like what if he's the only one that remembers them so it's not causing immense turmoil but he has to he knows what he's caused to happen and that is the main conflict there because he doesn't want to die but he causes erasure and though he doesn't exactly cause turmoil he he knows and he has to deal with the fact that he has ended lives and he can't do anything about it. Or something like that. I don't know. That just sounds interesting to me. Which is... <laughs> I don't know if that says anything about me or not. <laughs> Alright. One. Two. I didn't know you could actually scroll with this. Like, I'm just using my scroll wheel right here. That's big rad. Yahoo! Alright, I'm two forks, right? Think so.
Report heading home. From here, can I go to another cache, pick up a boot, a book? Who that? D hmm. I don't know how my microphone's gonna pick that up. Time to chow down. Time to chow down. Yes. I think you're a guy who's crazy. Anyway, day 64. Woo hoo! Five more days. Anyway. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, I'm trying to think of other ideas I've had for, like, beings of power. But, that's, that's what I end up on every single time. This guy that, if he hears you or sees you or he, um, just anything, he, one ceases to have ever existed. And... I've already said how I think on that concept, but a lot of things You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. That's not good. Yeah. Talk to the line. They'll send in a hot shot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical. Or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? The big fire. What about Delilah? <laughs> Is that a burn? Well, probably not as big a burn as the fire. Yeah, sure you were. Harry. Why not? Of course you like it, Jalila. You picked the name. Jeez, what if I don't like it? Take off your clothes and jump in the creek? Oh great, I don't get a choice. Do I still have the Irish Porter? That's big rad. That sounds like your sister has a legitimate problem. Hee hee hee, that last option's a little uh, scary. I'm not gonna think too hard about that one. Um, what if I had been? Okay, I will definitely do that. I was thinking that I might actually have to go down and investigate the fire, but they said they were going to send in a hotshot crew. So, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at it again. The June fire. Oh, right. I love how forest fires look. Are you sure you're a ranger? I don't know if that's a very good thing. Um, I don't know. I think of dumb kind of powers to have. Like, what if somebody... Uh, what? What'd she say? Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? What? Yeah, I think so. I missed something because... Crap. Mmm... <laughs> I don't know about that one. We could talk. We got these radios. We could um... face cam. You can bet the gesture I'm making right now. Probably. What could we do? <laughs> I thought that might have been the wrong choice. Then again, this isn't um, this isn't a dating sim, so. 
Whew, good, she didn't continue. I don't need that in my life. I'm a married man. Even if my wife doesn't remember me at all. That's a depressing thought. Legally, that's a no bueno. Socially, that's a no bueno. I don't know about actually legally, but probably not okay. <laughs> but I just think of dumb powers to have, like, um... At some point I even drew this and it looked terrible because I'm terrible at drawing, which is why I don't just make a comic myself. Yes, I'm going fishing without a license. Wow. Yes, I'm a poacher. Anyway. But... I'm gonna straight up find a bear, ain't I? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay. Is problem a euphemism? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's a bear. Murderer, like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader. The Manson family. What? Are... Yeah, tracks for a bear. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I think about like, what if there's a guy and is he has the ability to secrete like an adhesive from his hand? I think about it, and yes, his hand is a sticky hand. It's just a sticky hand. That's entire, his entire power. It's his whole gimmick. He has a sticky hand for an actual hand, and he can like stretch out his hand and enlarge his hand, and it's adhesive. And if he doesn't want it to stick, to, oh my gosh, my fishing rod clipped into the wood. And he can just like it'll stick to anything. And if he wants it to stop sticking, then he can be like, I will you to stop sticking. And his hand will come off of whatever it is. But he has... Is there a bear out here? Welcome to Jonesy Lake. You're going to get eaten. Population... Grizzly. I, f I don't know the actor, so I'm not going to mention Open Season. Never mind. But, um, also... Um, I don't know how someone would get a power like that. Perhaps he just eats, a, he ate a lot of glue as a kid, and he has, um, metabolism issues or something, so he sweats glue. But, that's stupid. What the heck? There's a clipboard. Is that a bears? Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Oh, great. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, let me just put this in my shirt pocket. Okay, can I examine this? Or? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What the heck? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Locate okay, strange noise toward canyon. Yeah, me too. Is this the canyon? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, <laughs> you know, devastating. Is that a beer can? Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh God, I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. <laughs> What? 
Oh crap, that's no good. I got beat. That's a big no bueno. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I spoke to Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. Right now? Let me guess. Yep, that's how it be. Anyway. Well, that sucks. Um. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? D. Yep. And you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. No, they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Yeah. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. Yep. No, oh, I didn't know I could go up for that. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. I'm gonna go do something crazy. In the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there. Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. You got it, Hefe. Anyway, um, hopefully that's the end of their conversation, so I can end the video. That's right, I'm gonna end the video. Where the heck's the meta? I don't actually care. This was fun, again. And I'll see you guys next time I try to do this, even though I always end up with a 30 minute video that I have to edit down to, like, 15. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I will. Probably will. But I talked about superheroes the whole time, so maybe not. Have a nice day. Have a nice everything. Have a nice week since I'm not going to see you till next one. <laughs> Bye. Oh, great. Oh, cool. I can save the game. Bye.